What's happening? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you all for tuning in tonight as I rip into a brand new product going by the name of Rippin' Dickies. This is the Hot Smash Mystery Pack, and these are hot off the presses, just released, and I'm not even really too sure about them. I just was just made aware about them last week. They were created by a guy named Richard, and he hails from Oregon, and Richard took the liberty and courtesy of sending some freebies for myself, which we will savagely rip into a little later so richard thanks a lot man looking forward to seeing what's inside of there and also what's inside of the hot smash mystery packs we're going to rip into these together tonight for the first time and we have some info and agenda we'll push this off to the side temporarily and get a feel for what we're going to see inside this mystery pack so first off it starts out saying a huge thank you to john for opening my mystery box on his channel john truly has brought the past alive and with that, a newfound joy in the hobby with his channel. How many of you have cracked open your three-decade-old collection of junk wax to search for hidden treasures like highly offensive background signage, players sporting the scum stash or sweet mullet, or maybe the profuse sweater, pulsing neck veins with the dorkiest players who ever played the game? Thanks again, John, and can't wait to see that G.I. Joe video. And oh boy, is that day coming very, very soon. And it goes on to say... What will 99 bucks get you in the world of sports cards these days? Not much. Four blasters with no guarantees. Maybe a hobby box with a napkin patch relic. That's so true. How about trying the Rippin' Dickies Hot Smash Box, a mystery product that is more stuffed than a Thanksgiving Day turkey. Each box is one graded card from PSA, SGC, HGA, or CSG. Five unopened packs, two modern, two vintage, and one fat cello pack. At least two of the packs are hobby. I'm counting gallery as hobby, goes on to say. Finally, every box is packed full of singles. Hall of Famers, top rookies, numbered color parallels, short prints, autos, and relics. Over 30 in all. 13 to 14 of these singles will be top-loaded hits. What's a hit, you say? Mega rookies. Think Juniors, Tatis, Acuna, Vladdy, Bobby Witt, Griffey. Think Robert, Alvarez, Bichette, Alonzo, Albi, Soto, Wander, J. Rod, Otani, Judge, etc. Rookie card and vet parallels, numbered rookie cards and vets, short print rookies. The list goes freaking on. Hall of Fame rookie cards, modern parallels of Hall of Famers, one auto, one relic, or one patch auto card guaranteed. In addition to this, one in four boxes will have a bonus pack. Bonus packs include seven 2019 Topps Chrome Update value packs, five 2020 Topps Chrome value packs, five pinks, five 22 Bowman Sterling mini boxes, five 22 Bowman mega box silver packs, and two 2018 Topps Chrome Update series value packs. Approximate value, 200 freaking dollars. So there's an awful lot to dissect in that paragraph, but it sounds like these are going to be literally stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. So we got a list of notable slabs here from SGC, PSA, also HGA. I see you're off the top uh, of the bat here. PSA 2019, uh, Kyle Tucker rookie card. PSA 10, a Bryce Harper rookie. PSA 10, Jimenez, PSA 10. All kinds of notable uh, cards here. SGC 80 tops. Henderson, that iconic card in a 7.5. And, and the list goes freaking on. We have Otani rookies and 10s on here. All kinds of stuff. And there are many ways to reach Richard and how you can buy them. For more information, go to his Facebook. I'm going to link all this down below. Make it super easy for you. Click right on the link and go directly over to it. To pay me direct on PayPal, 99 bucks plus $11 shipping. You can contact him directly. There's his phone number on there. And also, there's his eBay. So, $119 plus $11 shipping. But let's get down into this. I'm very excited to see what we have inside of here. Richard, thank you for allowing me to showcase your product. The first glance on what we have inside of here. We have very careful packaging. And we have a bubble mailer at the bottom tucked away. I think we're going to save that for last. Here's what you can expect to see once you get the bubble wrap off. We have our rookie pack, parallels and inserts. We have Hall of Famers. And we have our hits. We'll save that for the last in that stack. Here are our packs. Bowman 2022. Looks like we have a pack of 2022 update in there. That's pretty awesome. One of my personal favorites, 91 Bowman. Is that a 90 Leaf pack? Oh, it most certainly is. Very, very nice selection of packs there. I love that. It looks like we got a mosaic pack. So that's pretty awesome. Prism uh, from last year. So I don't even know where to start. 
We got our slab in here, obviously, so we'll keep that for a little later on. Lots of cool stuff to rip into. Let's rip into the older stuff first. I seem to resonate towards that, as always. 91 Bowman, and this seems to be Series 2. So, Series 2, Frank Thomas Rookie. I am coming for you. Well, we'll do 91 Bowman first. Can't go wrong with 91 Bowman and or 90 Leaf. Two incredible sets from the Junk Wax era, and that gum is so scrumptious, but I'm not going to eat it. So a bunch of Hall of Famer rookie cards looking forward here. Five to be exact, and a slew of other star rookies. Ray Tomlitz, actually his rookie card. We've got a Griffey in the very first pack. Very nice. Early Griffey, Wilfredo Cordero, Pagnozzi. There's Rod Carew in the uh, gold foil jersey in the top left. Randy Myers, Heathcliff Slocum, Big Mac, Daryl Kyle rookie card, and Jeff Brantley. Looks very determined on that photo, but Griffey and McGuire, first pack, and of course, Rod Carew. We are off to a pretty damn good start. And let's keep it going with Series 2, 1990 Leaf. Larry Walker rookie card can also be obtained in here. I think Dave Justice is in Series 2, but the big one is, of course, the Big Hurt. It's not every day I get to open 90 Leaf, so this is always going to be an exciting moment for me. Edwin Nunez starts things off for Dave Schmidt. There's Bud Black. Stan Javier can't quite make out the unibrow there because he's turned, unfortunately. Trevino. Dave Winfield is a nice one, though, always. There's Frank Thomas rookie hiding out in here. Checklist card possibly robbing me of that Frank Thomas. Mark Witten. Charlie Huff. John Burkett and Yogi Berra. His face enshrined forever in that freaking puzzle. So, didn't have the best of luck there. Dave Winfield is obviously the best card. But I think there's you can pull a couple out of each box. So, my bad luck could be good luck for any of you guys that decide to pick up this product. Let's go ahead and open. Um, we'll do this pack next. And see what we can find in here. This is a value pack, I believe. And we have the blue pack. And 12 cards in this one. So 2021, lots of rookies to be hunting down. Roberto Alomar is going to start things off. Soto Flaherty. There's a Mountcastle rookie card. Very nice. Koufax, all-time greats. I like these, this design, though, these cards. Franco Andrew Vaughn. That is a parallel rookie. My new card knowledge is pretty crappy so i don't know if that's a cracked ice parallel or not i'm sure everyone will scold me and correct me down below so feel free john means we got something in here i don't know what it is but it's an alonzo upside down insert card alonzo launched there's a boggs vintage that's pretty awesome and phil necro vintage some sort of green parallel but very very cool stuff like those cards a lot a couple nice rookies in there and some big time hall of famers and legends and now we still got the bonus pack I don't know if I've ever opened a bonus pack of these. I could not tell you. What do we have inside of here? So we can find some parallel rookies. We got a Mike Trout. Very nice. These are like pink, maybe. I don't think that they're numbered. Very nice. Mike Trout hiding out in that sandwich. And Tucker Davidson rookie card. Very, very awesome stuff. Put those aside. And go into our last two packs before we swashbuckle our way through these individual singles. We'll do a moment first. 12 cards in here. Looking for some rookies, as always. Josiah Gray rookie card starts things off. Rodolfo Castro rookie. Connor Wong. Nelly Cruz. Scherzer. We got O'Neill Cruz rookie card. Very nice. Gonzalez first Bowman. Bailey first Bowman, Taylor first Bowman Chrome, and P. Crow Armstrong Bowman Chrome as well. Definitely some nice rookies in there. Very, very nice. One pack remains. 2022 update. And I'm still on the hunt for the J. Rod and the Bobby Witts. Bryson Stott did not have this one, so pretty stoked about that. I had his rookie debut from a previous pack, but that's definitely a nice, nice card there. J. Go to Rizzi. Pineda. And Quan, also a nice one. Rookie debut. I think I had that one. I don't think I have his regular rookie. But we do have Mookie Betts. And that is a parallel. And I think it's a Walmart blue parallel, maybe. 
All-Star game. Very nice. like that one. Pilkington rookie card. Infield crew for the Orioles. Ross, Stripling, and there's Joe Kelly. <laughs> one of my personal favorites for quite a few years now. Absolute maniac. To end that pack, I'm pretty stoked. I got the Bryson Stott rookie card out of there. The Quan rookie debut. And then that parallel Mookie Betts. Not a bad pack at all. Let's see if we can continue this good luck. I don't know where to start. Let's start with rookies, I guess. We'll start on top. So all these, 99 bucks plus $11 shipping for a bunch of packs, a bunch of singles, and we're not even really halfway done yet, I guess. Dansby Swanson, rookie cards, and start, start things off. Bowman, rookie of the year favorites. That's definitely a nice one there. Can't go wrong with anything. Swanson, Alec Bohm with the 1990 Bowman design. Refractor, very nice. Raphael Palmero. To me, that's considered an iconic card. That was definitely a big one back in the day. I know it's definitely lost a lot of its value because of the PED scandal and whatnot, but I will always look at that card, and I will always like it. I think that's proven because I think I bought a lot of, of like 30 of those recently in one of my own auctions, and I kept all of them. Cabrian Hayes, we have a big league rookie card. It's one I have not seen before. Very nice. Adrian Morhone, Stadium Club Parallel rookie card. That one's not numbered, but that is a nice freaking card. Seth Brown, Rookie of the Year favorites from Bowman Chrome. We have some Holiday here. Alejandro Kirk, Rookie. Holiday last year. Joey Bark, Rookie card, the 52 design. Jason Giambi, that's a throwback for you from 94 Bredek. And look at that. We got a Wander Franco, Rookie card from Gypsy Queen. Nice stack of rookies going on there, Richard. Really, really digging this so far. Parallels and inserts up next. We got Andres Jimenez on the back of this next one. Could be definitely a good sign there. Trey Turner, that is numbered at a 304 from Donruss. We got a Bregman Chrome. That's pretty sick. I don't think I had this card either. Chrome Refractor. The Gold Cup. Very nice. Very nice card. That'll, that'll go right in my rookie box. We got Soto from Mosaic. Some sort of pink parallel. Another nice card there. Keston Hira. With the 85 design, there's another blue parallel. Opening day, there's a Cunha. Verlander with the 80 tops design. Can't go wrong with picking up Verlander's stuff either. Or this guy, Clayton Kershaw, the magician from Gypsy Queen. Very nice. Victor Robles. Refractor. I think that's an X-Fractor, actually, from last year's tops. Logan Cerny. This is out of 250. First Bowman. Purple parallel. That is a nice card as well. And so is this one, Andres Jimenez Prism Parallel. That is definitely an aw awesome one. I did not have any Andres Jimenez cards at all. This is the very first. So pretty stoked about that addition to the PC. Now we have Hall of Famers. I see Tony going in the back of this one. Ripken's second year starts things off. I see an iconic card right there, though. 83 Fleer Ripken in great condition. Look at that. Griffey's 89. Bowman. Love this freaking card so much. Never get tired of seeing it. That is freaking awesome. Nice clean back. No gum stain. No wax stain. Awesome. Awesome card. There's Pocket Optic. Don Russ a few years back. Willie Mays Bomb Squad. 88 tops. Tony Gwynn. A Pocket 90 Don Russ. 92 Don Russ Ripken. And a Musina from early 2000s Don Russ Classics. We even have some vintage thrown in here. With Juan Marichal and Sandy Koufax on the card. And that's a pretty good looking card too. A little off center, but pretty freaking nice looking card. And nice eye appeal to that. And a Tony Gwynn parallel. The red, white, and blue parallel from prison, if you can see that. Very nice. We have one more stack left. The hits pack remains before we dive into... The slab, and then we're going to rip into the extras that Richard so kindly sent me. We got Jimenez in here, and see that. We have a Tavares autograph. Whoa, check that out. From Top's Finest. That is pretty sick. So definitely a questionable place where he signed there, but that is pretty freaking awesome. Tavares autograph, not numbered, but from last year's Top's Finest. I like that design a lot. That's very, very cool. And we have a Jimenez Patch, and that's from uh, last year's, actually two years ago. So second year Jimenez, um, 2020 Donruss, Relic. Very, very nice stuff. And we still have 
the slab to look forward to. What is it going to be? You saw the list of stuff that's possible. And it's a PSA slab. Oh, man. That is a pretty iconic card here. Do you know what that is? It's from 92 Fleur Update, and it's a Hall of Famer. It's Mike Piazza. Whoa. The PSA 9. I freaking love this card. I just bought it for myself not all that long ago. I actually found this entire set at Antique Mall a few years back. And I bought another one not that long ago. But 92 Fleer update definitely did not have the production numbers of other 92 Fleer. Not even anywhere near it. Thus why it has retained its value over all these years. But Piazza only has two rookie cards. 92 Bowman and this 92 Fleer update. But... If you collect rookie cards, especially if prominent players, Hall of Famers, then you need to have this one in your PC. And that is freaking awesome. PSA 9, Piazza. I love it. I definitely love it. That was awesome. Check them out down below in the description. There's multiple ways you can pick yourself up one of these Rip and Dickies mystery packs. And they're all linked down there. Let's slash into the extras that Richard sent over for me. I'm very curious to see what these might be. We have some sort... Of <laughs> oh man, bass pants variation. What is this? What is it gonna be? Oh no, look at that! This is it's absolutely amazing. And look at that, <laughs> there is the original iconic red pants bass. We have polka dotted pants bass, purple pants, striped. Every freaking variation. This is absolutely amazing. And this is created by Richard, the guy who put together these mystery packs. This is going to be very, very well received on this channel, I'm sure. This is going to be enshrined here forever. The many pants of Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Bass. Oh, this is glorious. I love it. I freaking love it. And we still have something else to open here. Inside that bubble wrap, we have in a urine-colored top loader... An iconic card for me, one of my personal favorites when I was younger. It's Jose Lean's rookie from 88 Donruss. I literally was obsessed with this card and Jose Lean as a kid. And I really couldn't really tell you too many reasons why. But that was my all-time favorite player until about 92 or 93. Then Aaron Seeley and Tim Wakefield took over. But for a hot minute there, it was Lean. <laughs> the dorky antics of Paul Gibson will never be forgotten. 1990 Upper Deck, so many... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever noticed that back picture before. <laughs> that face is hideous. Up there is the likes of Zane Smith. That is the stuff that nightmares are made of right there. And of course, this iconic card, Ken Hill and Dennis Cook, everyone's favorite, mashed together onto one card. Very, very cool stuff. And we have one more pack left to rip into. <laughs> I cannot get over this. There's a slab inside here. It's SGC. And it's numbered out of 552. And it's actually going to be Tony Gwynn, 368 out of 552. 01 Tops Heritage Chrome. I didn't even know this existed. 2001. It's a freaking eight and a half. That is absolutely amazing. I got a buddy who loves Tony Gwynn and is a huge Padres fan. He may end up with this for Christmas this year. Out of 552. Absolutely epic absolutely epic i love it richard thanks so much man definitely a lot of thought went into this product like i said check them out down below and uh drop me comments let me know what you think of rip and dickie's mystery packs let me know if you plan on getting one if you think the price point is good drop your feedback i'd love to hear from you guys and i will see you back tomorrow night have a great night you guys